Hello and welcome to Super Profit Club. This is Sumit Gupta. In this video, I'm going to take you through one of very important lessons, which is on the, uh, you know, when you're placing an order, how you can, uh, you know, uh, what is ask price, right? So uh, this video is brought to you by Super Profit Club, uh, and this is purely for the uh, learning and educational purposes. Uh, if you like uh, uh, this video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel with your friends. And uh, let's get into the learning. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you is what is an ask price. A lot of people are confused with between, you know, bid and ask price when they are placing an order and how it has to be used when they are placing an order. In the last, uh, you know, one of the videos I had shared uh, bid price, what does bid price means and uh, how you can use that, right? So here, let me uh, explain to you what an ask price is, right? So in any market, right, there's a buyer and there's a seller and so is in the stock market. So when the buyer comes in, uh, you know, uh, the buyer is looking for uh, buying, right? And the buyer may be uh, willing to pay a particular price for that particular product, right? Or uh, in, in this particular uh, case, a stock or a share, right? So when he offers that price, that's called bid price, which I've explained in uh, another video, right? Now, the seller, who is there he is uh, he offers his share if he can get one price which he is wanting for selling his share or stock right so when a seller offers his share at a particular price that price is called ask price because that is the price that the buyer uh, the seller is asking for right if you do not meet that price you will not get the uh, share right so uh, that is there. Now what happens is ki that uh, as you see, the highest uh, bid price will be on the top and the lowest ask price will be on the top. If they both match, then the uh, trade happens, right? Otherwise, uh, you know, if there's a gap between uh, the, the bid price and the ask price, right? Uh, because bid price is the highest one which is uh, being bidded for and the ask price uh, is on top which is the lowest one, right? Uh, if they both match, then the trade happens, right? If if they do not match, then there will be a gap, obviously, between them. And then, you know, uh, you can look at that price and if you say, okay, okay there is a gap of about 5, 10 pesa or so. And if you want to buy that uh, share at that ask price, then you can change your bid price, right? So you can modify order and do that, right? So now how to look at this, right? How do you uh, determine that this is the right price to pay for the share, right? Now, uh, obviously, you know, as I teach in, uh, you know, my various videos as well, here that there's an entry range, okay? So you should not enter a particular uh, share before the swing starts. So there's a minimum uh, price that at which you should enter. And then I also tell you what is the maximum price uh, that you should enter uh, stock at uh, and not enter beyond that, right? So as long as it is between that price and if your order is not getting fulfilled, what you can do is you can increase your bid price or your uh, modify your order to increase your price by 5 or 10 pesos or so, right? Uh, and then buy your uh, share, right? Uh, however, sometimes what can happen is that the price movement may be happening very quickly and by the time you modify the ask price may have further gone up, right? Or, or the previous orders would have been fulfilled and uh, then you could not get it, right? So uh, that is where you can change that. Uh, one way is obviously to put it at market price. But, you know, you have to look at if there's a big gap between bid price and ask price, that means the uh, uh, there's a less likelihood of a, your order getting fulfilled, right? So what you have to do and, and how uh, how it works, that I've already told you, right? So what you have to look at is you have to also look at uh, the bid quantity and the ask quantity, right? Now, bid quantity tells you how many people, how many shares are being bidded by people or are being uh, put for the buying by the people? What are the buy, total buy orders, number of orders as well as uh, the, the total quantity, right? Uh, now, if the total quantity of bid is more than the ask price, right, then there's less likelihood for the ask, uh, you know, for the sellers to change their uh, ask price. Normally, they won't do that, right? Why? because there is a demand which is higher than the uh, the sellers right but let's say if the ask quantity uh, the the quantity in the ask column okay is more right as compared to the bid uh, bid quantity right ask quantity is more uh, than the bid quantity uh, in, in the column 
then what is happening is ki that that means there are more pe less people bidding and more people willing to sell so uh, the uh, you know there's a uh, there's a possibility that the seller would reduce his price right to meet your order that's also possible so you don't need to change your price at that time and it also gives you an indication of supply and demand right when you look at ask and bid that gives you an indication of demand right so this is a very simple very short lesson uh, that i have shared with you how or in your order placement and your trading it can uh, you know really be very very helpful right to know these terms and how you apply these terms okay so once again ask price uh, i i put both bid and ask price now together in this the ask price is some uh, that uh, you know what the sellers are willing to sell it for and the bid price is what the buyers are willing to buy it that particular share for right where both match the trade happens right uh, if ask quantity is more uh, than that means ki that there are more uh, shares being sold uh, if bid quantity is more that means more shares are being uh, you know uh, bid for bought uh, for being buying right and uh, if, if uh, you know if the ask uh, if the sellers and buyers agree on a price you know uh, which matches uh, which is done automatically by the exchange and the software right then uh, the uh, you know the order will happen right so i hope you learned something uh, new in this video and uh, like subscribe and share this uh, channel uh, keep coming back for more videos like this these are short and crisp videos which can add to your learning over a period of time and which you can implement in your uh, trading as well right and uh, if you want to learn more uh, uh, join me for one of my webinars uh, the link for the which is given in the description below if you would like to subscribe for my one of my courses or programs uh, that also you can do uh, find the links in the description if you want to read my book uh, which is you know uh, is stop losing start winning you can go to amazon.com uh, it is uh, it tells you the how you uncover six steps to earn super uh, supercharge your profits and earn a lot of money so uh, i wish you all the best and have great trading and great profits to you